everyone and welcome back to why you were cleaning today I have another painting Dollar Tree products video to share with you all I have three different projects to share today and I'm super excited with how each of them turned out I hope you enjoy today's video if you do please hit that like button please comment and please subscribe and let's go ahead and get started For my first project, I'm going to use one of these baskets. They come in a variety of colors. Since it is such a bright color, I'm going to use this Rust-Oleum primer in a white color and just give it one quick coat just to tone down the color a little bit so that I don't have to do so many coats of my actual color. The finishing color for this basket is going to be this Rust-Oleum Stone Gray. I started off with one good coat over the entire basket. I just hit all of the edges that you can see. I didn't worry about the underneath part of the basket. And then once that first coat dried, I just went back and just touched up any spaces that I might have missed. And here you can see the finished basket with this nice satin finish to it. I really love this stone gray color. It's one of my favorites. And this is the decor project that I had in mind when painting this basket for this video. I see these decor pieces with baskets with wreaths on the inside. And when I saw this basket, I thought it would just be perfect for this project. For this next project, we're going to use one of these rectangle baking sheets. I'm going to start off with a coat of this Rust-Oleum Gray Primer. I wanted to see if adding primer would help my finished coat to stick a little bit better and I think it worked about the same so you could skip this step. Next flip your pan over so that the primer side is face down and we're going to add this Rust-Oleum spray paint in the color Canyon Black. I'm going to add this spray paint just around the edges of the bottom side of the pan just to cover up the silver. Once it's dry, you can flip it back over and we're going to add this chalkboard spray paint by Rust-Oleum. You can choose to use a different chalkboard paint if you would like. I love the ease of using this spray paint. Just follow the directions on the back of the can. You end up adding about three coats of spray paint and then waiting 24 hours. Here it is after it has dried for 24 hours. You can see on the back, the sides and edges are all black so you don't have any silver showing through. With this chalkboard spray paint that I use, you pre-treat your surface with a piece of chalk. So I just went over the entire surface with a piece of chalk. I wiped it off with a dry towel and then I went back and wiped it off with a wet towel. Before I show you the finished chalkboard, we're going to work on our last project, which will be using these packs of wooden letters. I added a piece of sticky tack to the back of each of the letters and pressed them onto this piece of cardboard. I didn't want them moving around while I was spray painting them. I'll be using this Rust-Oleum metallic spray paint in gold. I'm spray painting two packs of the letters so that I have multiples of some of the letters. I added just one really good coat of spray paint to all of the letters. I really love the gold finish that this spray paint gives to these letters. I'm going to be turning these letters into magnets using these adhesive magnetic strips from Walmart. If you prefer to stick to Dollar Tree products, you could also cut apart one of these large magnets and use glue to add it to the back of your letters. I cut apart this magnetic strip and used two small pieces on the back of each of my letters. Some of the letters, like the W, I added three pieces to the back. Now I'm going to bring these last two projects together into one decor piece. To display your new magnetic chalkboard, you can use large magnets or you can use some foam mounting strips. I use the magnets to hold up the chalkboard and I'm showing you all of this on my door because it has the best natural light compared to my fridge. You can get so many different uses out of this magnetic chalkboard. You can write to-do list using your letters along with a piece of chalk. You can put it on the fridge or your door. You can also put together menus, whether it's for a party or just for your family and you want to write out what you're eating that week. It has many different purposes. 
This would work great as a chore list as well. You could even use one of the round metal pizza pans from Dollar Tree and spray paint it in the same way just to have a different unique shape. I'm currently using mine on my front door as a decor piece just as a welcome for those coming into my home. I really do love how versatile this piece is and I was excited with how it turned out. Thank you all so much for joining me for today's video. I hope that you have enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below which of these was your favorite project. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!